Okay, um, hello everybody. Uh, today we're making Connie's cookies or um, sugar cookies. So, for the purpose of these cookies that I'm making today, we are making um, Christmas cookies for Santa. <laughs> so, yeah. Also for a dessert on Christmas Day. We're also doing that. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to readjust the camera. Hopefully you can see. I guess you can see my hands right now. Just going to check. Yes, you probably can. Okay, so, first, here are what, here are the ingredients. I'll leave a link down below. So, you're going to need three cups of all-purpose all flour, unbleached, that's best. Um, one cup of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar. Um, one cup of cold unsalted butter or two sticks of butter cut into um, pieces. You'll need half a teaspoon of salt. Three egg yolks, um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, extract, hopefully you can see these things, and three-fourths teaspoon of almond extract. Because the almond extract is clear, I'm just adding, I grabbed the bottle too, so... The um, almond extract can be supplemented for three-fourths of vanilla extract um, on top of the already one teaspoon. So, yeah. Then, um, for tools, you'll need, ex of course, measuring stuff. Um, about three bowls. I like adding an extra one just in case. If you have a food processor, a food processor, if you do not, then you'll want a sand mixer or a hand mixer. It just takes longer. So. Um, then a whisk and a spatula. Also like spoons and forks and knives and stuff like that. So, Oh, and an oven and baking sheets, which we'll get into later. Um, this right now is just for the cookies. The frosting will be later. So, um, we're going to start off by, um, this is the point where you need the food, process, pro food processor, um, combining, combining, I can't speak, sorry, combining the flour, sugar, salt, and butter pieces. Um, process until the mixture is texture of coarse meat, of like a coarse flour kind of, that's what I want to call it. Um, so because I don't have, well I do have a food processor, I just don't want to use it. I'm just going to grab a big bowl. And add in the flour. Sugar, so this is the confectioner sugar. Um, salt and butter pieces. So all of the ingredients too. You're not going to save any or set it to the side. Um, before I do the mixture, mixture, mi mixer, I'm get it together. Hope <laughs> um, I'm gonna just hand mix it real quick. But I will grab. The mixer for the for the, a little in a little bit. So the worst part about hand mixing this is going to be the butter. Um, you want to make sure that's not clumping. It's not, you know. So I'm just going to cut to a time lapse now. Okay, so 
Um, I just completed that. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. As you can see, there's still clumps of butter, but it's somewhat done. I'm going to let my mixer hang out over here. So now we're going to move on to the, another bowl. Next is the. We still need the blender. Yes, we do. Okay, so next, in a small bowl, lightly beat the egg yolks with vanilla and almond extracts. With the motor running on the food processor, which you don't have to do, slowly pour the egg yolk mixture into the bowl. So we're going to focus on the first one first, and I'll tell you my little tricks. So, you grab this. And, um, oh, if you were wondering, today is Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, so. That's the one, no, that's the empty one. Okay. So let's pour the egg yolks in. Three egg yolks. Uh, make sure you do not put these shells down the uh, garbage disposal. Put them in the trash. Or if you have a, um, whatever it's called, a decomposer. I don't know what it's called, but you can put it in there. Almond extract. Vanilla extract. So if you didn't know, we actually ran to the store like a couple months before filming this to grab almond extract because we... Well, I normally don't use it, but I just wanted to have it for the video. So, slightly beat this other sleeve on camera because it won't take that long. Okay. You really smell that almond. <laughs> it's really strong. It smells like apples. No, it smells like maple syrup. That's what it smells like. Okay, so now um, it says with the motor running on the food processor, slowly, slowly pull, pull, pour this, I cannot speak, into the bowl. So if you do not have a food processor, this is how you will do it. Otherwise, follow the instructions on the website. But I grab the other bowl. Grab this, hang it over the sink, and plug. Um, I'm going to grab this bowl, and we're just going to pour this in. You don't have to slowly pour it in. I don't. I just go all in. I'm not a huge perfectionist when it comes to baking. I'm just like, okay, you can do that. So. If you're a perfectionist, you can pour this in slowly, you can do whatever you want. I've learned it does not make a difference in this recipe if you pour it in slowly or not. So, throw this in the sink. Re plug in the thing. And then, it's going to be. So let's go to a time lapse.
Okay, so because you could totally use normal um, cookie pans, sheet things, but because I don't have that kind of time, I'm just going to be using these. So I'm just going to rub some butter into this. I don't know where we got these. Um, probably find something similar on Amazon. They're just cookie trays that have Christmas cutouts. I won't make you watch this. I'll come back when I finish that. Okay, so here they are. I'm just going to do this one over here first. So we're just going to grab a little bit. I've learned not to overflow these too much because then the ratio of frosting to cookie is like really small. So I'm just going to fit it in there. Make sure it's pushed down all the way, it's even, you know, all the stuff. And you can put as much as you want in here, it's just, I personally like less cookie, more frosting. It's just my, of these, this kind of cookie, any other cookie I'd rather, more cookie than frosting, but... But these are kind of like, I don't, I don't know what to call them. They're like more, less sweet. They're less sweet. They're not that sweet. So you really got to make the frosting sweet. And it really complements each other. Like they really complement each other. Really easy cookie. Okay, I'll come back when they're all done. Okay, so the cookies are going to be cooking for... Let me, let me find it. 350 degrees for 10 minutes. So, I did decide to put sprinkles on them. That's just my decision. I felt like doing it. <laughs> I'm just going to preheat that and then put them in the oven. So when they come out, yeah. Um, pretty much all you need for frosting, this video is really long already, so I'm just going to say, all you need for frosting is um, powdered sugar, milk, cornstarch, I don't know, I can add a um, link to a couple of different frosting recipes um, that you can choose between. I don't really have one I stick to, so yeah. That's pretty much it. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and like and subscribe. And I'm thinking about calling this like Baking with Hope, I think. It's going to be like a series. I have a couple more videos, like baking videos planned. So if you want me to do those, just... Comment below. I was saying about like a cake pop, maybe. I have my own cake pop recipe that I made up myself and it tastes really good. Everyone at school loves it. They'll tell you about it. <laughs> I'm sure. Actually, they probably won't. Well, they can't because, you know. But, yeah, so let me know if you want me to do some more recipes like that. And, yeah, so, bye. <laughs>